bam, bam, ba, down. Theme song. Welcome to a very large demo uh, file that I downloaded called High Rise City. A uh, touts itself as the next city skylines a competitor. Uh, only the only difference is the scale. You can have cities that are like the size of uh, I don't know, like real cities, like millions of people. So welcome back to Solid Content, and let's try this game out and see if we should all put it on our wish list. New Solidsburg. Uh, and the mayor's name will be um, Jackson uh, Jackson Stumps. I'm not sure why. I'm not really sure. Um, now, I have did the tutorial, so I got a sense of what's going on in the game. If you want to do, there is a tutorial off the top, but we'll kind of walk you through what's going on here. I'm going to kind of put everything at, like, normal. Um, I'll even give myself less money. We'll say the co build cost refunding. No refund. I mean, would you get a refund? No, because you'd get at least a little bit of a refund so that you can... I mean, actually, okay, in real life it would cost you, but we're not going to do that. I don't know. Uh, normal economy. So we're playing basically normal. And it looks like there's contracts and research. That's stuff that's going to be added, I guess, later to the game. So with all that said, let's start our city. Welcome, Jackson Stumps, to High Rise City. Uh, so start High Rise City. Now, I think we're going to go maybe later on the Thank tutorial. For playing High Rise City. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, so uh, it's the same as many city builders, right? The first thing you're going to want to do is look for somewhere to build uh, near water, near all the stuff you might need. It looks like we got some cities in the distance that we could probably trade with. Oh, there's one not in the very far distance. And uh, just right off the top, one thing I want to point out is like, so we're scrolled out uh, zoom wise as we can go, uh, but look how zoomed in you can go. Okay. <laughs> I discovered this. Okay, there we are. That's as, uh, Where's that tree? Where's that tree? There it is. That is as close as we can get uh, in the game. Like, that is a pretty wild zoom distance. Um, so, th right away, that that's a little bit more enjoyable than City Skylines. I will say that. The build menu is, is it just hides itself down here. And it's all the basics, right? It's all the usual stuff. So, first, let's put down a square. I'm actually going to kind of go uh, near the coastline right here, I think, just for fun. You've got straight, straight, bent, free, draw, improve, like all this kind of stuff. You've got like a tool tip that pops up on the left, I guess is what I'm saying. So let's put like something like this that kind of follows the general vibe of the of the flow of the, you know, of the whatever, the, the coastline there. And then kind of going across like this, yes, yes. Okay, good. There. Ours are our first super block. We don't have any other stuff unlocked, but it looks like we'll unlock as we go. Um, but so there, those are our first few blocks. Then, okay, how much money do I have? 200 doubloons. I'm going to have to be careful with my money. And maybe I should have gotten more money just to get a sense of, like, the game. Uh, I don't know why I decided to play it on slightly harder, but I don't know. I just felt like it. So I'm going to go off into the woods here because you need to... What I love about this game that I've discovered so far is that uh, you can trade for all the stuff you need. Um, but we're looking at, a, like, this is a game that touts... Um, let me just pause the game here. I'm going to pause the game. We're looking at a game that touts, like, massive cities, but then you're looking at, uh, you know, resources like vegetables, garbage, uh, fish, wood. You know, so it's it's a little more dialed in, a little more going on uh, in the resource side than City Skylines, where you don't have to worry about, you know, you just kind of worry about, like, do they have jobs or not? And then there's, you know, the new industry updates have some kind of uh, supply, you know, lines, but nothing crazy, I think. Uh, okay, so we're going to play some uh, wind power. That's the only power we have right now anyway. And then a classic, like, what is this? City Skylines? What is this? Sim City? Got a place? A water tower. Uh, that's our initial water. I think there's probably, you know, you know some other water uh, in the future. But right now, we don't have to worry about that. What we need to be worried about right now is getting in here. I've got 197,000 doubloons left. City building bucks, if you will. Gold, if you also will. So let's put in a few houses right down here. And same kind of thing. I, uh, okay, have you, what did I... Resource missing. I spent all my wood. Okay, let's get time going. Speed up time, actually, get that stuff built. So, they are moving in at an, inc an impressive freezing the game pace. I'm going to slow life down a little bit there. And here's all my people. Look at them go. Okay, I haven't made any money yet. Uh, they are upset about the lack of water, but I think that's going to get solved any second now. Is that a fire truck? Look at that. There's a lot of fire trucks. We didn't order those. We don't have a fire station, but hey, that's fine. All right, so now that has gotten power. So we've gotten power, hopefully, to the people. I don't... Uh, I'm not seeing if there's a... 
a grid anywhere that shows me a filter, maybe? Here we go. What does the filter show us? So there's no electricity filter just yet. Maybe we haven't unlocked it. Satisfaction is not great, uh, but right now we basically just need people to start working at the lumber mill. It produces here, and then I think it generates vehicles. Uh, and then these vehicles, I assume, will go uh, somewhere. Uh, where, like, where are you headed? Uh, we're going to need, I think we're going to need a warehouse, but I maybe built too quickly, too fast. I think I was like talking, so I wasn't paying attention, but I know that we're going to need at some point a, uh, where was it? It's in the roads. We're going to need one of these, a carrier, a local carrier operating cost 250. Now, thankfully for us, it doesn't, uh, cost any wood. So we're going to get that built and that's going to help sort of pick up supplies from anything within its, you know, area of, of, uh, effect. So I think we can also eventually build some roads down here and get some fishing going on. So let's get that set up at least. Uh, straight roads, please. Right down to the water. Is there going to be enough room? Because I'd also like a port for trading. So I don't have much room on this, uh, I'm noticing. Uh, small port. Your game has been saved. Oh, thank you. Um, oh yeah, this thing. Okay, guys, we, we might need to, we might need, uh, to wishlist this game and play it because check this out. If you pr hold your mouse somewhere, I'm going to hold it over this intersection here. I'm going to press F and I'm zooming in and now I am driving my car, a nice, a nice, uh, f uh Falcon F-160, uh, you know, a non-proprietary type of truck that everyone's seen on the roads, but it's not a brand that you'd know of. This is a totally non-type of branded truck. And you can drive all over your city with it. So I think, like, what, wasn't it SimCity 2000, maybe, that had this? And had you, like, flying around in a helicopter or something? Um, I don't, I don't remember, uh, if it was all, I'm pretty sure it wasn't, like, SimCity 4. Uh, but, like, yeah, the early SimCities, you could, you could drive around in your city a little bit. I think there was actually, SimCity 4 did have some driving modes, didn't it? But it wasn't first person, it was sort of top down. Probably because of like, oh no! <laughs> Crap, okay. So when you fall off the road, you will find that it's kind of hard to get over. This is a pretty thick curb. So we'll just hit F again and then we'll get back to building. One thing I'm loving about this game is that it looks like click on our carrier page for a second here and you can see all the vehicles that the carrier uh, controls. It's now currently one of the trucks is loading five wood or I guess four uh, over at the small lumber lumberjack uh, yard and it's going to bring it back to this carrier and kind of store it here. We can build things eventually like uh, small warehouses, large warehouses that increase the amount of uh, goods that our city can store. And I'm, I'm just, I'm, I just know that at some point the production chains are going to get more and more complicated, uh, and then that's going to lead to uh, trickier and trickier layouts and decisions while we grow our city. I'm trying to get into the green early here, uh, just to see if we can. Uh, by placing these houses, I f I'm pretty sure they're paying taxes. I'm not 100% sure about that, but it does look like our, our budget is still falling. Uh, so we are, we're, we gotta be careful not to run out of money uh, before, well, I guess before the end of the video. Well, our growth has paid off in another way. Um, we have unlocked, this is a very similar to City Skylines kind of layout, but we have we have turned into a settlement, which loads up a clay pit, brickyard, that warehouse I was just talking about. Oh, garbage collection. Okay, this is sweet. So a lot has been unlocked here as well as some uh, larger roads, which we're probably going to have to worry about way later in the game, I imagine. The next step, of course, is the valley, which is going to get us into uh, a lot more stuff here. Can't wait for some apartment buildings. Um, another thing I'm noticing here is beautify the city. So whereas City Skylines, you kind of did some modding, uh, this game jumps right ahead uh, to the end of that. Uh, where is it now? Uh, landscape tools. So there's landscape tools, there's sculpt, obviously, landscape draw, and then there's place objects. I was just looking through this, and I have discovered that place objects is, it looks to be just about uh, most of the objects in the game uh, are displaceable. There. So you can just place, <laughs> just kind of, I guess, any object we need to place right now. Uh, is there, what's the rotate? Uh, that rotates the thing. Okay, my control panel is saying that it's M and N to rotate buildings. Uh, that might just be not placeable buildings, but that might be buildings like that I've selected. So let's try that here. Escape out of that and grab like um, a town hall or something. 
uh, as a very large building. And if I hit M and N, okay, yeah, so that rotates that building. So I'm not actually 100% sure what rotates those placeable buildings. We'll have to look into that later. But yeah, that is an incredibly large amount of decoration tools, something that I'm probably going to get way overly invested in uh, if and when we buy this game. Oh, it's quite loud when you zoom in, too. I'm going to place another tree there just for fun along the along this street. Actually, this street probably needs to be upgraded. Uh, but right now, what I'd like to do is explore these new industries. So we have a fruit farm and vegetable farm and a fishery we always had. These, This one doesn't need any wood. It needs some tools. I kind of think we should get some, some fisheries going here. Does it need to be... Let's just place it there and maybe... Oops. Fishery in. I just kind of want that like boat kind of in the water, you know? I guess that's the best option. We'll see. We'll see how that looks. It looks like it's bringing up the, the ground around it. So I'm not sure how they get that boat in the water, but uh, that's pretty good so far. There's still room, I think, for a small port. Yeah, right there. Um, which, I mean, how much does that cost? Small port is uh, 10,000 doubloons. You know, we might as well do it now because we're going to need the port, I think, to make, uh, to make some money back. So let's get that done. And uh, slap this road from here to there. It doesn't like that road. It doesn't like that road placement. That's okay. We'll do this. See if we can't carry that on. There we go. There, that looks nice. I mean, kind of. That's a very big curb behind this uh, this road here. Uh, but again, we're talking scale here. This thing is going to be massive when we keep building it. Uh, how do I upgrade this road? Let's see if I can um, pull this tool up and hit improve. No. Can I just do this, though? Okay, so it's not going to let me upgrade that road, maybe. Road angle too low. It doesn't seem to let me upgrade that road. Maybe we need, like, an improve. Can I just click on this road? Upgrade. Here we go. There we are. And we can downgrade them. That's nice, too. That's good to know. But there, we're going to get a couple more lanes out of this main road here. We might even upgrade this one as well. Uh, because these are going to be pretty hefty roads uh, as we continue to develop the town of uh, Solid St Solidstenberg. Um, I've almost filled in the houses here. I do have some wood left, but I kind of want to explore, like, let's make sure we get some food for these guys. So we have potentially some fish coming in, uh, but I think uh, while this lumber yard has pretty good, yeah, 100%, you know, whatevers, so we would actually don't really want, you know, to, to take away those trees. So we almost need another road to come out here and become, and veer off to become our sort of, like, farmland. Let's go straight till about there. Okay, is that good still? Oops, uh, I wanna Games. see. There we are, so that comes, yeah, so we can get another street in there, like another uh, another block of development in right near the lumber yard, which doesn't affect the lumber yard, good. Then this road here, we'll put it on bent. Go straight for a bit and then curve it off this way. This is gonna be sort of our farming sector. So it's gonna come in here and then uh, with a small warehouse, what do we need with that? Uh, we need bricks to get that up and running. And what does it do? It increases storage capacity in the city. Okay, let's not worry about that right now. Oh, look at this little little house here. Those little families moving in and stuff. Uh, I just want to finish them. Okay, there we go. So we got some houses in. It, it didn't quite fill in this grid here. It's left these little green ways. And I noticed that the houses are made to be like little subdivisions is the kind of the idea here. So again, I think City Skylines, the, the details are a little more built in. It, little, it looks a little more like you could actually draw, you know, leave the road and get to this house. And these look a little more like these details look almost more symbolic. However, look at that friggin' draw distance. Look at those zoom details here. We can go into this guy's backyard. Oh, sorry, sir. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't see you there. <laughs> sorry, we'll get out of your hair. Um, actually, I did click on it, and people are upset. What are they low on? They're low on vegetables, fruit, and healthcare. So hopefully there's some healthcare around here somewhere. There we are. Let's get a doctor's office in here. What do we need for that? Uh, six wood. So let's wait for six wood to show up. Get a doctor's office in here. And then over here, I want to start doing my farming. Uh, hopefully that doesn't take any wood. But if it does, we'll wait for a bit. Okay, so we need wood to get a vegetable farm going. Then we need to figure out the clay uh, workflow uh, so that we can build some more stuff. Or I think we can buy it from the port. So bricks are going to take a clay pit and then a brickyard. 
Okay, very straightforward. That's that's going to be able. That's going to be doable pretty soon here. But we do have now. I'm noticing the, enough for the doctor's office. So let's get that doctor's office in here. And what kind of? Oh, that's a nice big area of effect. So we'll get that doctor's office up there. It looks like I didn't place it quite close to the road, but that's okay. So we'll have some of our amenities around here, like along this area. And then maybe we need like, I don't even know. Do we need jobs yet? You know what we do need is more income with lumber. Uh, if I place another one of these, it's 200 bucks. That's also 100%. So they can like share the same space it looks like. So let's build two lumber yards and see if we can't double our, uh, you know, wood income. All right, so we've saved up quite a lot of wood here, but I am noticing right now we're having a power problem. So I think I've got to like think about that some more. Maybe a medium wind turbine, which is a lot larger, but can we even afford it? And does it need to be on the road? Oh, that's going to affect our wood stocks. Okay, let's put one right here and rotate it so it's a little Game more... Uh, yeah, it looks like it's, you know, going in the same direction as that other one. Now that costs a lot of money, but I think it's going to be worth it. I still don't know why I don't have an electricity filter. Whoops, whoops. Um, but if you look at my health filter, I'm seeing like pretty nice health coverage here. Uh, pretty nice water coverage here. And then I also found this resources tab, which is going to have a lot of stuff that's maybe blocked off for the demo. I don't know. But here's some clay, uh, which is very convenient for this road. So I just need to build my farms. Uh, yeah, some narrow-ish farms around this area. And then off into this area can be all my agricultural land. So we have at least a little bit of a brickyard. So let's uh, let's develop this. Oh, wait. Let's give them some shops first. Because uh, I don't know what it's going to do to the game if we have some shops. But let's at least build them and uh, see if they have any requests for us. You know, what kind of supplies do they need to operate? Okay, well, that's looking awesome. It looks like they just need to give people jobs. So that's good. And hopefully we'll provide some income. But check out this, uh, the, the food, the farm creation uh, thing. Oh, let's get our vegetable farm going first. Operating costs. Okay, so we do have to be careful. We're going we're gonna to get some operating costs here. So a vegetable farm is actually a, a series of roads. Yeah, it's going to teach us how to make it here, but I'm going to show you. So let's say the road comes up here. And again, we okay, let's try to just memorize how far out this grid goes. So kind of like along this road we can build. Let's remember that. Um, and you build a little, basically like a, a lot for it. So we're going to go out like so. And we're going to go uh, free service. I don't know what free service. Oops. Oh, it's gone now. Okay, let's not do that. <laughs> I don't know what I did, but uh, let's whatever I did, don't do that when you're getting into this. So let's just, I guess, build it square. Because I kind of wanted it to be, oh, grid snap, turn that off. There we are. So this will be the size of this farm here. And as soon as you complete it, all of that land turns into the farmland and then it builds near a road. It builds your actual farm building. Once this is done, it's gonna start generating veggies for us. Uh, once we get some bricks, I think we're also going to start generating, we'll, we'll be able to you know, make the fruits. Uh, but let's get this thing built. And I think we're gonna need like, I'm not sure 100%, but I, I, I get the sense that we're gonna need another local carrier. We might put it like here near the clay or something uh, so that this area is well served. Where's the clay? About there. So let's put a local carrier like right here and maybe a warehouse. I noticed that there is improvements, small local warehouse, kind of an expensive. Uh, we need some bricks. Okay. So that's going to increase the factory's storage within its its range. Uh, looks like we do need some water here. So let's get some water. Would you like some water farm? That's all right. Here's some water. This is how I talk when I, I create empires. Do you ever find that you actually do that? I actually do. <laughs> I get a little lost in the uh, in the make believe of it all, and I'm like, yes, yeah, my empire is coming together nicely. Okay, there we go. That's got water. I think I'm gonna you take out this uh, uh, take this out for a spin here. So let's go ahead and like actually just buy some bricks. Let's buy like. 10 bricks, which is going to be quite a lot of uh, stuff. But how much do I have? I have so much fish. What we should do is sell, like, tw I don't know, 20 tons of fish. Okay. What else can I sell? I could sell wood, but I probably shouldn't. And I'm going to need to buy tools at some point soon. But let's do that sale. Let's see how that goes. So in about 100 hours, a boat is going to come, and we're going to buy some bricks. Uh, that's going to help with our uh, construction projects here. 
All right, our bricks have shown up. I kind of thought a boat was going to show up. We were going to unload the boat, and I was going to watch that animation, but hey, I'll take it. So we've got 12 bricks to deal with now. I don't, I'm not sure if we made any money off that trade. What's the? Well, our last trade cost me 5,000 doubloons. Let's stop that trade. Uh, how much fish do I have? 19 tons of fish, so we can't really... We shouldn't sell fish that often. Let's lower that to 10 just to at least start making some sales because we are running out of money uh, quite fast. And I think it's partly because... I don't know. We just don't have the tax base. So I could wait to save up some more wood, uh, but I think we want these folks to be nice and happy. So they need some fruits as well. Let's build a fruit farm, and we can do... We can get our... Um, we can get our clay brick industry up in a little bit, but my main concern right now is just that the... Uh, okay, how do we do that? Okay, let's put it over here, I guess. Maybe a thinner fruit farm. My main concern right now is just that the... Um, whoops. Uh, the operating costs are going to be too high of running another industry right now, and I want to make sure that I can get my... Okay, there. Lack of construction resources. What do I need? Oh, I need... Okay, I need 20 wood to get this farm done. I, I think I should have looked at that first. So the grid size, 4x4. Four four. Maybe I just need to make a smaller one. Maybe the, the farms are... Maybe I'm making farms way too big. That Well, that's too small. Okay. How about up to the... Oh, uh, hang on, hang on. Fruit farm. Let's go up to there and across, like a smaller one. That still is going to take uh, 12 wood to get finished. Um, so we might want to wait until we have the wood for that. And then let's see if the this tax base is enough to uh, sustain these industries that they need to be happy. Oh, well, clearly we it was because we have now graduated to a valley, which gives us access to a church, small police department, a furniture factory, and apartment complexes. Cannot wait for the apartment complexes. All right, so we have a few more items here. We got a few more, I mean, uh, pieces of wood, I guess. So let's get this uh, fruit factory finally up and running. I see that I've already unlocked even some more farms, but I'm concerned because I certainly uh, don't want to uh, get lost trying to get all these. Oh, man, like look at a mill, a, gr a bakery, and a grain farm. So there's another production chain that's opened up for me. And uh, I still haven't even gotten garbage, you know, per you know stuff in place yet. I am noticing, though, as you can see, the amount, money change per week is going down uh, in terms of the, like the negative amount is going down. So at some point it's going to settle and that'll be the number. That'll be our basically our true deficit once that settles out. But I do have 11 wood, so I kind of want to see, like, can I zone? Can I upgrade this area? How, do, how would I go about doing that? Uh, is there a way to upgrade these houses? Uh, or would I just like out here uh zone apartment complex <laughs> no it doesn't seem to doesn't seem to like what i did there i think we're gonna need to get some more people moving in here though and then uh i think it's important that we uh, get some apartments going so let's, let's build those uh because the more people we can move in the more it'll make sense to run a little uh brick industry i just need to make sure that i can actually uh sustain a brick industry well, there you have it, folks. We have run into the green for the first time. I'm not sure how long that's going to last, but I've noticed another problem here. I have slowed down my growth, so people are not moving into these new homes that I've built for them. I'm not sure why. I've got, uh, you know, I've got, I'm giving them veggies. Oh, we've run out of fruit. Okay, so maybe I'm not producing as much fruit as I think I am. It looks like they are consuming it a little faster. Yeah, I can see this graph here is showing me that they, we go back down to zero pretty quickly. The vegetables, on the other hand, different story there. The fish, we have been uh, selling them <laughs> quite a lot, but I noticed that, like, yeah, our trading history, we only made, we didn't make that much uh, for these fish. So we're going to hold off on, on selling those fish for a bit until we get some, like, stronger... Uh, oh, let's sell some of that wood, though. Uh, until we get some stronger surpluses. So yes, I am going to sell some wood, which isn't ideal because, you know, we need it. But we also need to make sure we're staying in the green and making some profits here. So thankfully, I have pulled out of the red somewhat recently. And that gives me confidence, I think, that I need to set up a little bit of a uh, brick uh, workflow here. So the clay pit, first of all, needs to be... Let's put it out here at 100. Then let's get a brickyard right near it, because hopefully the carrier just takes it right to the the road or the, the thing that needs it. 
And those give you a small road right there to there. There we go. Hopefully that's enough. Now what's it saying? The clay pit is yelling at me about a lack of no garbage carrier in reach. Okay. So now we have to deal with the garbage situation. And if we take a look at that, it's got, uh, let's see here. Zone for garbage. Uh, the zone to store garbage. Amount of garbage sinks slowly. The more garbage is in store, the faster its amount is sinking. And then we need a local garbage collector as well. It's going to take four wood. So we're probably going to need that. Can we place it right there? I don't know. Is that... I wish I could sneak it in that building. Or, like, move this building over or something. I could change the name, so that's good. It's good to know that I can name stuff. I'm going to put it right... Uh, the garbage collector, like, right... Oh. I'm just going to see. If that accesses to a road, that's awesome. It must... Like, it just touches the road slightly, so it looks like that should work. All right. And this is... Oh, seems like they have a massive garbage pickup uh, area, so that's good. What is it? What are they saying they don't have? Oh, road access is missing. All right, so I screwed up there. And it looks like my population is already going through all that fish, so it's a good thing I stopped selling it. Maybe we can just go... Oh, crap. Okay, this is, yeah, this is not placed very well. I can tell that now. I can see that now. Let's go, like, over a bit. No, let's go over like so. And then just, okay, yeah. This is very messy, but it's going to work. And now the garbage collector is happy. Okay, cool. So this area, like, let's ignore this area. We're, like, I've just, this is my, you know, I did the tutorial, okay? I'm cracking into the game pretty late here. The brickyard is saying it has an issue with lack of resources. This is saying it has an issue with production warehouse being full so where are my carrier vehicles some of them are asleep so that shouldn't be a problem maybe the road access isn't as good as I think it is there how about that is that better road access oh we got 10 bricks just waiting to be transferred over to this thing somebody come get it we're missing something okay no free trucks in the area. So these so these trucks that are asleep, they must have a... Maybe they have an actual... Oh, cool. You can see their own little cameras. So they, maybe they have a cool down. Or maybe I'm missing something. I'm missing a vehicle that I need or something like that. Maximum workers, 20. All right. So after a little bit of noodling, I, I maybe have figured it out. I'm not 100% sure. But basically, I built a carrier down here and then all of a sudden that thing got busy with lumberjack stuff and uh, vegetable farms like it was maxed out in fact it was doing more work than this carrier was doing so this is maybe an extra carrier i don't know but then i look it still wasn't picking up this brickyard so i placed this one and every so often a truck will load five clay and then come and unload it here which i think is close enough to the brickyard uh, so it looks like we have a slowly operating, you know, brick thing here. Uh, and that's enough to sustain one. I think if I just do another brickyard, I, I'm not sure. Maybe we'll, we'll, do, we'll test it. We'll do another clay pit like here. And uh, we'll build this road out and see if that gets picked up. And uh, if that's enough to keep this brickyard uh, very busy making us our bricks now the next question will be like are these bricks getting picked up so i'm not 100 percent sure but i'm i'm thinking that maybe there's a routing issue uh you know like an access issue i'm not sure like maybe this one needs to be downwind of the clay pit uh it serves some looking into and maybe doing the tutorial again i know uh, but I'm also seeing that I only have three minutes left in the demo. So I, uh, I'm i learning now that I should have moved a lot faster uh, before I lose this demo. Let's uh, not sell that anymore. Let's uh, buy a whole bunch of bricks. Um, yeah, let's buy 18 bricks there. Uh, because we're about to run out of time to build anything. In the meantime, let's see if we can't get some more resources down here. Uh, like, for instance, a small police department. No resources. Okay, fair enough. All right, let's try to get, like, a... Uh, what else can we get? Uh, maybe a fire fire, fire department? Okay, we need some more bricks. So we... Uh, yeah, this little area took a little too long to figure out and, uh, unfortunately, has left us in a bit of a lurch. However, I gotta say, I, I'm, I'm liking the direction this thing is, is going. I'm liking uh, some of the ideas uh, that I can see here. Some of the, like... You know, again, this is a demo, so it's not even in early access yet. So I'm really liking kind of, you know, what I think, uh, where I think they're headed with these things. 
Are there some bugs? I'm not sure. I haven't really run into any unless you count this clay pit weirdness, but I think that's more likely going to be solid content weirdness than it is clay pit weirdness. Like, that's not, that's not their fault. All right, I have two minutes left, so I'm going to speed up time here. That last trade cost me 10,000 doubloons, but it was worth it. We're going to run out of... I mean, we're going to... Yeah, the game's going to be over soon anyway, so let's get a uh, small police department in here. Oh, it's very small. We're running low on fish. So let's put that... Yeah, let's keep it here. I wish we could get it, like, sneak it in there. That's all right. So we'll get it right there. And then let's get them a... Uh, fire department as well. I want to make sure they have a fire department. And I think I really want to build this big prestige building now. Uh, I think we've done enough work that we've earned our town hall. And we can see kind of what, what tax options it gives us. Because, again, we're getting close to being uh, back in the green there. So I think this is a good spot for the town hall. Right there. So let's get that town hall built. And then do we have... We have we've got some, some bricks still. So maybe we can get some more apartment buildings that we've seen start. Oh, that's it. That's all we could get. That's fine. They'll move in eventually. As we can see, they eventually did move in. It just takes them a little while. They're all fairly happy with their lives. They are missing a... Where is it? Town Hall Bank Improvement. Is it an improvement? Small warehouse would be nice to build. Oh, it's, that's right here. The church icon. Ah, oh, we just need a bit more wood and then we can build our church. So that's going to look really nice. I think we'll do it like right across from the town hall. And the town hall gives us... Oh, perfect. Okay, this is great. So our industry, we can see what's going on. And we can see that we're... We should, let's go to a 13% tax, okay? Yeah, let's go 14 because I already did it. Let's try to raise a bit more money here because right now I can see that our industry is killing us right now. The food industry alone is, is a very large budget. So, uh, with a few more houses, I think we could actually balance this budget. Uh, can we balance it in, um, uh, 30 seconds? I don't know. <laughs> but it's not bad. It is slowly start- no, it's creeping up a little bit. Okay, well, we did build a lot of industries. I don't know if we need this We've guy. How do I- fruit. Gotta demolish that building, I think. Gonna demolish that building, and we can build another fruit farm here. Uh, but I've, so far, I really love the kind of production chain stuff that you have to be doing. And the game, obviously, we didn't get to a million people, but uh, we did get to 900. I will say, though, it actually does look like there's 900 people in this town. So that's something that I'm, I'm excited about uh, for uh, to see the rest of this game. So if you are also excited with how this is going, put this on your Steam wish list. I know I will, because, like, look at some of these images. I mean, look at the, yeah, the truck going through that farm or these high-rises off in the distance. The scale that this game is promising plus that, like, resource management is, I mean, it's looking like a really fun vibe. Not that I'll ever give up on my dream uh, game of City Skylines, but uh, this is a surefire addition to my love of City Builders. I hope you found this to be some truly solid content. We got through a little bit, but but not much. But hey, I only played the trailer. I played the demo once, so uh, you know. Uh, let me know if you want to see more of this game. I don't know when it comes out. It's it's not going to come out for a bit. But once it's in early access, I will be on top of it. Uh, but other than that, we look forward to seeing you in the next videos, whatever it is that we play.